Hey guys, so I'm 38 weeks and one day today, which means I am uh, six days of being pregnant left. Oh wait, no, five days of being pregnant left, and six on the sixth day I will be induced. Oh, it's so confusing to count backwards. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, nothing really exciting on the baby funds happened today. Obviously, I wasn't really expecting anything. Um, I think I would have like passed out from shock if I would have wanted to labor today or something, just because of the news I got yesterday. Um, that being said, I've done a bit more research on the bulb um, catheter dilation method, and. I think I'm pretty positive I'm going to go with that. Um, it's kind of mixed reviews. Some people say it hurts. A lot of people, however, said that it was just mildly discomfort or um, just kind of more pressure than anything. And in the long run, I would rather deal with a little pain than uh, be in labor for like 48 hours with Pitocin or whatever, you know. So kind of where I stand with that. Um, I, today, or tomorrow is my last day at work until January, and it's kind of weird. I, I feel like a part of me will miss it because, um, you know, just like talking with other adults because really I don't really like socialize too much outside of work and home and stuff so um, I mean I do sometimes of course but it's not a big I don't go out you know so I feel like I'll miss that I'll miss my coworkers but um, at the same time I feel like those three months are going to go by so fast and I know I'm not gonna want to leave the baby um, everybody at work is like, oh, you're not going to come back because you won't want to leave him, and I totally agree that I won't want to leave him, but, um, just with our financial situation right now, we can't really afford to have me completely quit, um, we could, like, if I were to lose my job or something, we could get by, it'd just be really tight, and, um, so just for the comfort the little extra cushion um, in the wallet, sort of, um, I'm fine with going back to work. And, um, who knows, maybe it won't be forever. Uh, we are talking about, I think I might have mentioned this, about moving um, next year at some point. Um, so, you know, depending on jobs up there, depending on how much Glenn would be making, um, how much I'd be making, you know, maybe it will let me have, um, let me not work, I don't know. That's still pretty far off, but, um, so yeah, I do feel like those three months are going to go by pretty fast. But, you know, um, I'm going to try to make the most of them. Um, other than that, nothing... There's nothing really to say. <laughs> uh, like I said, you know, tomorrow's my last day. I'm going to try to get everything I can done um, forever who's kind of filling in for me throughout the next few months. And then, um, yeah. Just Saturday, my parents will get here. Sunday, uh, my mom and I will probably uh, clean the house a little bit. Monday and... Tuesday is kind of just up for grabs. I hope the weather gets better. We were still pretty warm last week. I would say 70s. And all of a sudden this past two days we've had like this rain front and it's freezing. We had to go turn on our heater today actually. So that was crappy. But um, yeah, anyways, I guess I'll call it good and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.